Goodness gracious, we've made it to Friday. Yes! <laughs> Which means it's time for another Friday Feel Good Roundup. Let's go to Erin Ivory. She's joining us live from home. Oh, what right. a feeling. Hallelujah. So nice. How about yeah. that, right? <laughs> How you doing? Right. You know, it, it's just such a weird space we're in, right? I'm always hoping everyone's hanging in there and doing well. And that's why we wanted to create this space here on Fridays to kind of throw together a couple small stories to lift our spirits. And this one came from my friend Patrick Elwood, who told me about a 12-year-old who's kicking butt out there on the field. This is a Kenny Foreman with Chicago White Sox ACE program. I want to congratulate you and extend an invite to the Chicago White Sox ACE program. Thank you. A game-changing call for 12-year-old Amira Hondras, who recently found out that she was about to be the first girl ever on Chicago White Sox Amateur City Elite Baseball team. The ACE League was created to provide opportunities for under-resourced Chicago communities and increase participation in the sport for inner-city kids. It has translated into hundreds of college baseball scholarships for talented players who otherwise wouldn't be in the game. Amira was the only girl at this year's team tryout and according to ACE's program director, one of the best athletes at the tryout. Next week, I'm taking you on the baseball field as we follow Amira making some history behind the plate. You do not want to miss this one. This kid is inspiring girls all over the city and killing it on the diamond. And how about this group of black cowboys who rounded up their close-knit crew this week to promote a peaceful approach to the city's racial injustice issues. At the helm, a guy known as Murdoch, the founder and president of the Southside Broken Arrow Riding Club. They wanted to distinguish themselves from Dreadhead Cowboy, the solo rider who took his horse on a seven mile gallop down the Dan Ryan. This is not a day to bash Adam, but to give him help with what we can say and what we can do, how you say it, let more kids, how can we help them rather you say, let more kids touch our horses and answer more questions that a kid might ask you. The group believes peace is the cowboy way and wants to encourage other city kids to discover the joy and solitude found in the saddle. September is National Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month, and no one is working harder to get the message out than Chicagoan Maisha Wynn. A successful entrepreneur and lifestyle consultant, known for promoting healthy living, had her world crash down after being diagnosed with a brain aneurysm. Since then, she hasn't looked back on a mission to educate others of the signs and symptoms before it's too late. One in 50 Americans right now are living with a brain aneurysm and they don't even know it. They don't even know it. That's over six million Americans. One in eight Americans pass away from an aneurysm. Every eight minutes right now, someone is having an aneurysm that's being ruptured. Wynn believes she survived for a purpose, and that's to save others. We will post a link to the signs and risk factors along with Maisha Wynn's Live to Win campaign. Finally, this Friday, a woman who has done plenty of living, we celebrate the 100th birthday of Alberta Gwynn. Her granddaughter from Glenview, Laura Horowitz, got over 100 strangers from across the country to mail Alberta a birthday card knowing she would be isolated in her care facility due to the pandemic. Along with that giant pile of birthday cards now on her lap, we also want to wish you a happy birthday, Miss Alberta Gwynn. Yep. And that is it. You know, that's it for me this week. So enjoy your weekend, be well, and I will see you guys back here on Monday. And Pat, look for that story. It's coming up on Wednesday. Ooh. Looking forward to that, Aaron. Special shout out to Sheena Quinn with the White Sox for bringing that to our attention. All you right, bet. Aaron, have a great weekend, Bye, okay? All right, on the